CBD's wild and crazy right now, right? There's a lot of people that are asking, will I get caught on a drug test if I'm taking or trying CBD for my health? And we're gonna to talk today about what that means and the common misconceptions about all of the drug testing in with CBD versus marijuana. Josh Rimini here, uh, your functional pharmacist at Dilworth Functional Wellness Center. Uh, and we're gonna talk today about CBD and drug tests. Uh, Cause I get a lot of people coming in, uh, one, just about CBD in general, but the, one of the first things they ask me is if I, if I take this, am I gonna get if I'm, am I gonna get dinged on a drug test for my employer? You know, you've got a lot of people in Charlotte, whether you're a high profile CEO, uh, everybody still drug tests, right? And the last thing you wanna do is take something that benefits your health and, and get the consequences of getting fired from your job, whether you're a police officer, first responder, firefighter. There's so many indications now for people that are very skeptical uh, because they're just not sure. So we're gonna talk a little bit today about what that means in CBD. Can you get caught in a drug test? Well, the short answer is yes, you can. And we're gonna talk a little bit about why someone would get caught on a drug test. Um, the first thing I would talk about is quality. Uh, CBD comes from either a marijuana or the hemp plant, right? All the CBD we, we sell here in most all CBD, unless it's coming from a state that has marijuana, is gonna be derived from hemp. And it's legal to sell uh, CBD from hemp if it contains 0.3% or less THC. So if you've got a quality product that goes to 0.3% because they're trying to get it cheap or easy and get it right where it needs to be, well, there's a possibility if you took that product that you could uh, test positive for marijuana or THC, right? Because it had 0.3%. So if the if the test is gonna test to that level, then it is possible. And sometimes a lot of products are labeled THC free and that's really not true. Um, because there is always a little THC in the hemp plant, it's never going to be 0.0000%. CBD is derived from two different places, right? It's, um, you either get an isolate or a distillate. The distillate takes all the components in the hemp plant, all the CBD, CBGs, THC, uh, even the little bits amounts, um, the terpenes, all the things. Everyone thinks that uh, this, you know, this, what they call broad spectrum or full spectrum, okay? So they take everything from that hemp plant and they throw it in the bottle and that's what you get. Well, that's the 0.3% kind of THC. So that's the full spectrum stuff. Everything in the hemp contained and you, in, you ingest that, whether it be pill um, or, you know, the liquid kind of version that we've got here at Dilworth. The other version is the isolates, okay? That's when they take all that hemp active ingredient, all the cannabinoids, and they isolate it down, okay? And that isolate is kind of like uh, when you look at purified chemical or purified um, sugars or things like that. So if you took the, the hemp, all the, ice, all the cannabinoids, and you isolate down, and then you have an isolated CBD product. So we've got uh, our liposomal CBD here. Um, you guys have heard about my liposomal stuff too, is we've got purified down to a specific amount. So you get down to purification, you're pulling out all of that THC and all those other components, and then you have a much cleaner version of that. People kind of understand that. So when you go to an isolate, if it's made right, and you have and understand the quality of it, and we'll talk a little bit about that later, we can get our raw ingredient down before it even gets diluted into the product that you're taking down to 0.02% or less THC. So basically undetectable. So if you're going to try CBD and you want to prevent the occurrence of a drug test positive, well, it would make sense for you to not go on the full spectrum and to use an isolated product. And trust me, we have great results with isolate. I use it more often than I use full spectrum because I get that liposomal delivery. 
So if you're gonna try a product that you really wanna use and, and avoid those drug test kind of errors and problems, it's much more likely to use or much more likely to not get a drug test positive if you're using isolated purified form. Again, that being said, We've got quality concerns, and we're going to do a podcast on quality for sure. So um, stay tuned for that one. But from a drug testing perspective, use an isolate, not a distillate, so not full spectrum. It has to say isolate. But then you need to understand the quality concerns that go on with that. So you need to know your product, which means don't buy from a gas station. Don't buy from a health food store that can't verify that and look for what they call a certificate of analysis that basically tells you exactly what's in that product that you're getting. So if you do your due diligence and you're using an isolated product that has a high, high quality, like our stuff is professional grade, that means it's the highest quality in the marketplace. Best possible quality for the price on the planet. That's what we use here at Dilworth. Yes, you can get caught uh, taking CBD and, and testing positive for marijuana in a drug test. So what you need to do is don't buy full spectrum, buy an isolate. Buy the best, highest quality you can and make sure that you can verify that quality uh, and then you'll be in a much better place. I hope you like this. If you look for more information, you can go to our podcast, which is Your Functional Rx, or you can go to our website and learn for more information. I'm Josh Rimini, Your Functional Rx.